Hello, everyone. Welcome to the NTI Pod Talk. My name is Diane Kaler, and I'm the director of Nutrition Therapy Institute. This Pod Talk is our opportunity to have fun conversations with interesting people who have interesting things to say about nutrition, food, and health. I talk to NTI instructors, students, and grads, to health industry professionals, to farmers, and anyone else who has an interest in nutritional wellness. While many of our listeners come from within the NTI community as students and grads, we also have prospective students who tune in. And to those listeners in particular, I hope you find that the people we talk to inspire you to finally make the jump to pursue your passion and come to school here at NTI. So without further ado, let's get on with the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of the NTI Pod Talk. My name is Diane Kaler, and I am the director of NTI. Um, I love having conversations with a variety of people in the community, whether they be uh, directly in our NTI community or outside the community. Um, I happen to have today with me Maddie Lebrun, who is definitely within the NTI community. She is a graduate of both of our programs, the nutrition program and the NFC program. Um, but Maddie is also a representative of a community of people that I think um, would be very interested to learn what we do and um, potentially you know, uh, be interested in, in participating in some of our education. And that is that Maddie is also trained as a nurse. And so um, we're going to talk more about that. But Maddie, thank you so much for being here, uh, taking the time out to be here. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Yeah. All right. So let's start off with your uh, first um, foray into the field of health and wellness. And that was your decision to go into healthcare and you chose um, a nursing career. At least that's my understanding of your, your beginning stages. So let's start there and talk about what was your interest in getting into the healthcare field and nursing in particular? Yeah. Um, I think that my interest in medicine and healthcare started when I was very young. Um, I was very science and math focused when I was a little kid, loved school, um, <laughs> loved learning and specifically learning about the human body was my absolute favorite subject. Um, I was always just so fascinated with how the human body was able to regenerate and, you know, disease process, heal ourselves, break down. I always was just enthralled by it. Um, and as I entered into college and kind of decided what I wanted to do within that capacity, I think medicine was always um, my trajectory. Whether that was going to be becoming a doctor, becoming a nurse, um, I ultimately decided to become a nurse because I think I also had a heart for um, being a little bit more up close and personal to people. Um, and having that bedside experience was definitely something that I was drawn to. And so, um, yeah, I uh, I went about my college career and I started my clinicals and I decided to get into bedside nursing and it was very aligned with all of my goals, which were science-based and learning about the body. And then of course, treating the body through my impact on my patients. Right. Um, and you uh, worked in hospitals throughout your nursing career. That was kind of the, the, the place where you experienced your nursing career was in hospitals. Yes. Yeah. So I have, I have about seven years of experience in hospitals, um, working at a variety of settings, but, um, and I've done a little bit of working in like long-term care type facilities, just like as temporary jobs. But for the most part, my career has been, um, in hospitals working with patients when they're acutely sick. Okay. All right. So at some point in time in your nursing career, um, you, uh, made a decision to seek out other areas of education um, and in the field of uh, nutrition, and you found NTI. So can you talk about kind of what sparked that interest for you to even start looking for something else? And um, how did you find NTI? And, you know, what, what was that process like? Yeah. Um, 
I think honestly, for a lot of people who have found and discovered holistic health, it seems like we were led through our own health journeys. Um, and that was definitely the case for me. Um, while I was in college and then just beginning my career as a nurse, I started having a little bit of declining health and didn't really understand what was going on. I was young, I was active, and I don't think I was really getting the answers that I was seeking from, you know, my conventional doctors. Um, and being kind of the science motivated mind that I was, I was very much like, well, I could figure this out for myself. I kind of wanted to crack the code and um, got very interested in reading and listening to any material that I could get my hands on when it came to um, what could be explaining my own personal symptoms. Um, I think I discovered podcasts you know, and books and audiobooks and all of these things that were just like, this is so fascinating. And I think I found a little bit of gaps in my own knowledge and my own education from being a nursing student. I think there's not very much emphasis on nutrition and wellness in nursing school. Um, and certainly there's a time and place for everything, but I found that when I was learning about nutrition specifically, I was like, oh my gosh, this seems to be the missing key. Um, and I had a couple of wonderful holistic practitioners working with myself personally, and it, it was the key. My own personal healing was through food and through lifestyle modification and stress modification. And I just kind of decided as a practitioner right there, I was like, I want to incorporate this into future patients' lives. Um, at the time when I was working, I was kind of reaching my own personal crossroads of, do I want to stay where I've always lived? Do I want to expand my adventure? Do I want to, um, move? And I had stumbled upon the idea of moving towards mountains and coming to Colorado in general. And I do describe it as almost like a stroke of fate that I, one day I was researching and I found this little school in, in Denver, Colorado, and it was basically exactly what I was looking for. And that was NTI. Um, because for me, I think working in a conventional setting, you do hear a lot of people not understanding or not wanting to integrate holistic health into conventional medicine, whether that be because they're not understanding the research or the science, but that was what motivated me too. And that's what I found immediately about NTI is this is science backed. This is research forward. We're going to teach you how to interpret data and research, and then we're going to show you the impact that it has. And for me, it was just speaking my language. And I was, you know, I was hooked the moment I found it. Mm -hmm. Great. That's awesome. So I, I'm curious if you have anything else to say about this. I, I don't know if it's, if it's pervasive, but that's the word that I use this pervasive concept or, or, or belief within conventional medicine that, you know, what you eat doesn't matter. Food doesn't matter. Nutrition. Yeah. Maybe that's important, but it doesn't really play an integral role in health and wellness, um, you know, and, oh, sup supplements are, you know, a joke and a scam and, and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, we don't have to talk specifically about supplements, but just holistic nutrition. <laughs> um, what, what, what do you have a sense of why there is such, um, this, this almost animosity, or hostility towards people believing or, or recognizing that food matters. And mm -hmm. when you eat well, you are supporting your body's health. So anyways, can you, do you have anything to add to that? Or can you talk about that? I think it's definitely been a question that I've always asked myself as well. Um, you know, food as medicine and at the very least food as supportive medicine towards treatment goals is always something to me that I'm like, why wouldn't we focus on this? Yeah. Um, and being in the hospital setting where there are acute, very sick patients that we're dealing with. I mean, the truth is, is the nutrition knowledge and the education is very lacking in the patients. But I think in some ways it's also lacking in the practitioners as well. Like I said, like when I was in nursing school, um, we took one class in nutrition and it was very bare bones. It was very, you know, food pyramid focused. Um, and I mean, at least we were starting the conversation about it, but it wasn't really to the degree of 
this can be a supportive therapy for the health and wellness of people. Mm-hmm. And I don't really know why. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had conversations with doctors before where it has kind of been like a, a poo poo sort of thing of, mm-hmm. oh, does this really play an impact? Probably not. Um, which has always been very perplexing to me. Um, and I think a lot of times that lack of education for the patients is kind of seen because it's not necessarily the topic of conversation when they have with their doctors, when they're, you know, planning on what our treatment plan is going to be or where we're going to go with my health journey, that that's not really part of the conversation. They don't really want to know what you eat. Um, it's what medications do you take or, or, or what other thing, you know, what other mm-hmm. things are part of the picture. Mm-hmm. And that is kind of a huge reason why I wanted to understand what is holistic medicine, frankly, what is it? Um, and how can it ultimately be helpful and why are we not integrating it? These are kind of the yeah. questions that I'm still left with. Um, yeah. because part of my big philosophy is like, why not? Why wouldn't we integrate? Why wouldn't we collaborate? There's no denying that the wonders of modern medicine are fantastic and the technology and pharmaceuticals, clearly they have saved lives, but there's this whole other layer of like, why are we not focusing most of our energy on preventing from getting there? That Mm -hmm. that's the piece that I think that's where my passion has led me is like, I want to be on that end Um, Mm -hmm. because I think it is, I mean, frankly, the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, very good. And um, yeah, I'm right there with you. Still not quite understanding this disconnect, but um, w- with you out there <laughs> be- being an advocate, maybe it'll happen. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, all right. So you, as I mentioned, you completed both of our programs, the Nutrition Therapist Master Certification Program, and then our Natural Food Chef Program. So, you know, I mean, you you kind of already explained why you wanted to be uh, partake in our nutrition program. Um, what led you to then, after completing that, want to jump right into the NFC program and um, become a, a trained natural food chef? Uh, when I was first researching the school, I remember seeing that there was this dual option and remember thinking like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Um, and as I was, you know, definitely going down the road of, okay, I want to go into the nutrition therapy program and and learning and hearing about food and how it impacts and all these things. The truth is, is that I was very intimidated by the other half. Um, I have, you know, little things that I've always been able to cook, but I, I would never say that I'm a great cook. Um, and I knew the right ingredients that I was supposed to be using, but I didn't know how to make it um, sparkle or, you know, taste fantastic. And I think that that was always very, um, limiting for me. And so when I was like about halfway through the program and discussing with, you know, my family and myself and my friends of like, wow, there is this other half of it. I think the reason why I mostly said yes was because I was a little bit, um, uh, scared. Like, can I keep up? Can I learn these things? Like Uh this feels like that extra missing piece of, I have the knowledge. I know these nutrients. I know these foods. Now, how do I put it into practice? And having done the NFC program, it was probably the best decision I've ever made in my life. Um, because I think what I learned is, um, integrating all of the knowledge that I've gathered through nutrition therapy was one thing. And that's amazing. But I think through the natural food chef, I really got to fall in love with food and fall in love with the cathartic element of cooking and nourishing the people that you love and yourself. I think that was this piece that I was just like, that word just sticks out to me of the nourish part and Mm -hmm. what a beautiful concept of nourishing our bodies. And I just felt so empowered to be able to go forward and like I said, do that for my family, do that for my friends and possibly even do that for clients in the future. I was absolutely all on board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, thank you for saying that because, uh, I think, you know, first of all, I just want to say for any, any prospects out there listening, there is no requirement that you take both programs. Um, you know, you can always, uh, just do one or, or the other program and have, um, knowledge and and a skill set and credentials to be able to practice within the scope of practice of whatever that is. But those who do do both programs, either 
the nutrition program first, the natural food chef program second, or vice versa, NFC first, then do nutrition training. Um, this, this, um, uh, you know, th this additional integration, it, it's not a one plus one equals two, you know, it's very much um, uh, of an expansion of like your vision of holistic health and your ability to apply it, you know, implement it, as you said, for yourself, for your family, your friends, and then also for your clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. All right. Well, lovely. So um, do you have thoughts or plans of how you can bring this passion for holistic health, um, nutrition, uh, you know, natural food cooking, or, 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 you know, just really whole foods, um, healthy cooking into a um a practice within not necessarily the conventional medical paradigm but maybe i mean like how how can you see integrating this passion that you had for being a nurse and being in the healthcare field and and helping with others and you know you it came through very clearly that you had this passion um to 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 uh, work with people at the bedside and um what i know of you um, and your personality and the characteristics that you have, I imagine that you are really good at that. Um, and so how, how, do you have a vision for how you can bring these two worlds together and be able to actually utilize all of your skills um, in, in one place? Like what, what are your thoughts for you know, now, now where you're at in your life? Moving forward, I yeah. think about that all the time because <laughs> I, I do find myself like I know that I'm a very passionate person and I have a lot of different passions and um, a massive passion of mine is for people just plain and simple. And whether that be through, you know, the patients that I work with or the friends that I surround myself with, I think a big element of starting the conversation is just having the conversation. And I found that a lot of times, you know, in conversations with other nurses of just like talking about what I've learned, talking about food, having conversations that people are like, wait, what? Um, and engaging in those in that way. Um, I found that that's been a kind of way that I have, you know, in a very small way, carried my education into what I've done. That being said, extending that into you know, combining this passion that I have in all different realms. Um, I'm excited to see what that does look like. Um, I'm hopeful that in the future, the conventional world will integrate with the holistic world. I think we're starting that process. I think that people who are taking charge of their health, health, you know, starting as young as, you know, in their twenties or earlier than that moving forward. I think that it's a promising future. I don't think we're there yet though. And so mm -hmm. I think engaging in conversations and engaging in, um, opportunities to, uh, come together over shared, um, common experiences, which mm -hmm. for me, I think in a lot of ways, I see that as food of everybody eats, everybody loves food. And I see myself, you know, having this passion for cooking and food that I've developed through NFC. I'm hoping that that's going to be kind of this bridge of um, whether that looks like cooking for a client who's going through chemotherapy or wanting supportive health after a heart surgery, or just bringing people together and cooking and talking and discussing about nourishment. I think that that's going to be a way that, you know, from my small little perspective, it was just one person, like that's where I want to start. And if that brings up, you know, a business or, um, clientele or connections of like, Hey, you want to learn more? I've got this incredible program that I think you should check out. That's what I'm excited for is leading through example in a lot of ways and educating through example, um, and educating through nourishment. Like what an amazing thing to sit down and be in communion with other people sharing a common experience, which is food. And then talking and saying like, didn't this taste good? Wow, wasn't this good for you? You know, kind of those mm -hmm. sorts of conversations I think are really exciting to think about in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so as I mentioned, I 
I think, um, and you know, I, I, I truly uh, believe that I am correct in thinking this, that there are probably many nurses in the same situation as you, where you're working, you know, day in and day out with patients who have um, certainly, you know, serious diseases, serious issues. That's why they're in the hospital. Otherwise they wouldn't be right. But, um, and where you, you see a way in which nutrition could help certainly not, you know, resolve everything. We're not saying that nutrition replaces, um, medical care, but certainly could help. And as you mentioned, um, the more education there is, uh, prevent people from, from getting there in the first place in some cases. So I would imagine that there are other nurses, um, in that same position where they're like day in, day out, like, man, if you just ate some vegetables, you know, maybe you could, uh, you know, in, in increase your nutrient intake and, and that could help. Um, so do you have, um, advice or anything for people who are in that situation where they see this potential, but they can't quite figure out how to actually take a step forward to actually, to, to do something about it. Make a difference. Yeah. I mean, I think that was part of what I experienced being a conventional bedside nurse is feeling a little bit powerless. And so taking the power back and, and using this education that I had and making small differences through small conversations, um, you know, having a conversation with a, a, a patient who is newly diagnosed diabetic and saying like, okay, you know, half a pie at nighttime that's what you've been doing for a while. Why don't we reduce it to one slice of pie at nighttime yeah. and kind of leveling people, I think with where they're at. Um, and I think that that's kind of what we as nurses do all of the time. You know, we empower people to let's get up out of bed and let's move. We empower people to, uh, pay attention when I take your vitals, what do these say? What does this mean? Um, I think we have those conversations all of the time. And I know that there are, you know, healthcare professionals, nurses out there who want to play a more vital role in that exactly like you said. And I think empowering those people to, just start talking about it and just start educating patients in the smallest of ways. Um, and then hopefully, I mean, my goal, my vision for the future is very much that there will be more steps of integration because everybody has their specific passions. Some people are passionate about pharmaceuticals and about medicine and, you know, whatever that looks like. Some people are passionate about nutrition and wellness and lifestyle. And if we all integrate together and we kind of have those conversations, the patient is going to be so much better for it in the future. Mm -hmm. So I think like, you know, how we get from point A to point B, I think about that all of the time. And I think mm -hmm. that, you know, as one person who was interested in it, just starting small and just educating myself and then kind of spreading and having those conversations and meeting patients exactly for where they're at and seeing it as like a holistic journey, as opposed to uh, you're sick now, where do we go going forward? Mm -hmm. Um, I think little steps eventually will make an impact and what I can be hopeful for, for our American medical system. And, uh, you know, the larger medical system in the world mm -hmm. is that we are going to catch up and we are going to start collaborating. And then we are going to come together in those ways of like, this is not going to hurt. This is only going to help. And we can do this in a teamwork style that it's only going to make things better. Right. Um, and so it's got to start somewhere. And if it starts small on one conversation that I have with a patient um, at lunchtime of what should we order for dinner, mm -hmm. that's a place that we can start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as you said, if we're all working towards the same goal, there should be no um, apprehensions about ha having a variety of approaches coming together. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And then, you know, I would just put out there that, um, you know, once someone gets this spark of interest and starts just investigating for themselves, well, how, you know, how does food affect certain things, you know, and they, and they, they start to develop this passion, then, um, you know, you, you want to seek out 
high quality education from a reputable source. So, you know, just make sure to um, look at um, taking on another educational um, endeavor and going to school. And, you know, of course, we think NTI was, is, is a great, great place for everyone, but you definitely do want to do your due diligence and check out schools to make sure that they have the comprehensive science-based education, because that is really what is going to be in most support of um, integrating a holistic nutrition approach within a conventional medicine approach is that it is a science-based curriculum. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, Maddie, this has been a fun conversation. Um, is there anything that you'd like to share that I didn't ask? Um, I'm, you know, I'm going to ask you uh, kind of how can people get a hold of you if they want to work with you? So I am going to ask those kinds of questions, but anything else about like, do, do you have a business? Do you have, um, and how, uh, in, in what way are you working with clients uh, if you're doing that? Yeah, I think um, I'm pretty fresh out of um, stepping out of my nursing career. Um, not that I'm leaving it and I will always be a nurse and I, I love that aspect, but I think kind of focusing on that preventative side of medicine is where my passion is moving towards. And I think I'm in the phase right now where I'm saying yes to any opportunity and mm -hmm. saying yes to working and collaborating with um you know, NTI as a school and clients in the future. And so um, utilizing some of the the projects and the, the people that I made connections with while I was in the NFC program, um, I'm absolutely open to working with anybody and communicating mm -hmm. with anybody mm -hmm. um, and then seeing where that takes me. It's kind of an exciting time right now of moving forward. And uh, I'm very looking forward to the future. Nice. Great. Well, um, do you have contact information that we should put out there for the public? Uh, absolutely website. yeah um, yeah i i don't have a website yet um, okay that's, that's fine that I <laughs> no i think uh email is probably the best place to start that i can absolutely share um if anybody has any questions if anybody wants to collaborate or says hey i think this is a great idea let's yeah. go for it. yeah um, and then we'll just stay tuned kind of see what uh what develops all right good so what is your email uh it is mp lebrun so m p l e b r u n 94 at gmail Nice. All right. Well, this has been a great conversation. I hope we uh, put a little bug in the ear of those nurses who, um, you know, recognize that there, there, there may be something else that they can add to their skill set uh, by getting more nutrition education. So Absolutely. thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks for being here. It's great. It's great to talk great. to you. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Bye. Hi there, and thanks for listening today. If what you heard today inspires you to want to pursue an education in holistic nutrition here at Nutrition Therapy Institute, please check us out on our website, nti-school.com, and reach out to us at admissions at nti-school.com. Our in-depth, comprehensive education is sure to provide you with the knowledge and skills you need to create the work of your dreams. Do something that feeds your passion, aligns with your values, and fuels your drive for a vital and meaningful life. It will be rewarding for yourself, your family, and anyone else with whom you interact. And with that, see you on the next episode.